happens, the faster I start reading stuff, words just start just jumping or letters will flip over. It's just something in my head that just does it. And as I start reading, I'm like, whoa, that did not sound right. Your learning challenges shouldn't define you as a person. What I have and what I went through was, wasn't a curse. It wasn't something I don't ever put my head down from. It makes you a stronger person. Growing up, Lawrence Guy was often shy and closed off. But now the Patriots' defensive tackle is an open book about the learning challenges he faced as a child. We knew from a young age that I learned a little bit differently than everybody else. And so coming into elementary, certain subjects, you get pulled out and get a little bit more help. And then you get into middle school when you realize, hey, okay, I'm a little bit different than everybody else. Then you have to deal with your peers is some don't understand, some want to make fun, and, and some do understand, but it's hard to relate to it. What was that like for you? How did your peers treat you? I got put back into a shell when I got into middle school due to that fact that uh, you had the struggles of doing tests and you're just sitting there and everybody's done and you're just like, I'm still working, I got to stay here for a little bit longer or staying after. Your learning challenges and issues, how were they presenting themselves and kind of where were they at once you were in high school? I had a little bit more of a handle on things and the sports world helped me out a lot. If you have a learning challenge, I feel like sports helps you out with that because it gives you the confidence to pick up a, a playbook, ask a question, to sit there and remember 20 plays or remember formations. And that just goes hand in hand with the, with the, the education side of it. Despite educational obstacles, Lawrence became a four-star football recruit and chose to attend Arizona State University, a school whose Disability Resource Center, also known as the DRC, specialized in supporting students with learning challenges. But as a freshman, Lawrence admits it was difficult for him to stay focused in the classroom. He was on the verge of becoming academically ineligible and not utilizing the resources around him. An intervention was necessary. Athletes, many of them, especially his size, you know, they see themselves as superhuman. Riley is dropped. That's a sack. He just the put the seconds. truth on the table that the way that he was managing himself, his lack of commitment would lead to him not being able to do what he loved, and that's play the game of football. That kicked me in the butt, and I started using the resource at the DRC building, and I had tutors for every class, and it, it just started jumping my GPA up. And I believe the last, I think the last semester out there, I had a 3.5. The DRC also discovered that Lawrence had undiagnosed conditions that affected his learning. Dyslexia, which centered around reading and interpreting words, and dyscalculia, which focused on mathematical problems. It was like, now I fully understand why I had troubles reading certain things. When Lauren saw success in the classroom, I think it really was a transformation within him. It gave him a lot more confidence, both in the classroom and on the football field. The biggest stigma that athletes have when it comes down to talking about the, the learning challenges is no one wants to be called stupid. That's the thing that we need to break. It doesn't matter how the way you learn. Take the journey, embrace it.